Today I will do another look at my E-Flight Valiant 1.3 meter RCL plane. RCL plane. Uh, I mean, this has to be one of the sweetest high wing RCL planes you can purchase um, because it's really lightweight. It's a simple build. I think this is one of the more cheaper uh, E-Flight, uh, like BNF RCL planes also. Um, and I mean, it just flies fantastic. So let's go outside and, and get this one flying. Today, just a sunrise, no wind, mostly cloudy sky. And um, if uh, this wind then would have been um, all white on the other side, chances uh, are um, it would kind of disappear against this backdrop. But thankfully, this one does have really nice stripes. This plane just flies fantastic. I've uh, maxed out the aileron throw then on the control surface horn. Just up the rate to like 130%. Can fly this one really agile and aerobatic and sporty. This plane has never given me any bad flying whatsoever. And, uh, it's a really great thing about lightweight RC planes with um, low wing loading. That they can, uh, I mean, they just fly so well. So I really don't want to fly larger and heavier RC planes, uh, especially when I know that. Lighter they get, especially in this like 1.2, 1.3 meter size, the better they are. I think this one just tops out at maybe slightly above one kilo. It's, um, it's like my Arrows Trekker, it's also really lightweight, 1.2 meter RC plane, and they're just so easy to, to fly. And most often, just a good power system, then even on 3S. I mean, it doesn't matter if I fly this one upside down, I can do whatever I like. It would have been really nice to have um, some LED lights on this RCA plane, but I don't want to fiddle with this plane too much. I mean, it does look nice with LED lights, but uh, and I've put it on LED lights on many RCL planes, but I always feel that it just makes it more complicated just to fiddle with cables as I disassemble my RCL planes when I'm not flying them. So that's why I'm a little bit reluctant just to do two severe modifications. Now, on this one, I have reinforced the tail section with carbon fiber rods and also the nose section. And I have these Dave Brown wheels. Uh, on this one, just remove the wheel pans because um, it does have a really nasty tendency just to nose over on grass, rougher grass, with the wheel pans and smaller wheels. This is an excellent slow flying RC plane if you want to just pick up speed. I mean, the flight envelope is just so wide. Comparison then to a like a true aerobatic RC plane with a symmetrical wing. I mean, this is not as snappy, but it uh, more or less is just as able as these aerobatic RC planes. Just a, it's a fantastic plane. It would be nice to see a modified version then with this plane with a top hatch for the battery. That would be just 
a really nice improvement as the bottom hatch is just a kind of a pain to work with and also these straps I really don't like it's a kind of flimsy battery door also you can do snap rolls if you maximize throws in the aileron and uh, surfaces down but uh, it's not really a, a super fun snap roll with this horse airplane you can do it at first I struggled, but when I just uh, increased throw and learned how to just pick up speed and, and do it, and I could get it to snap roll. It's a good looking plane also. I mean, not my be most beautiful one, but um, surely okay. Time to just uh, get this one down. Very simple, almost no throttle, just flare at the end. A nice main touchdown. I have modified mine with a few things. So one thing that uh, doesn't really show on this uh, RCR plane is that I have re reinforced the nose section with some carbon fiber rods and also the tail section. So what I did was I did remove this piece and I put in uh, carbon fiber rods just to reinforce the frame on this RCI plane. It does feature two wheel spars, so it's really nicely uh, done. And I also modified it with, with wheels. So I've tried the turbo TV wheels, which I, which I think it's the best option. But I also want to have just a bunch of flights with these like Dave Brown, I think they were like four inch uh, wheels, mm -hmm. which works just uh, really great. And the only negative uh, thing then, uh, I mean, the, the build is a little bit questionable just because, I mean, it's kind of a cheap foam on, on this RCR plane, but you have this bottom hatch and I really don't like to fiddle with these straps uh, and just flip this one upside down when you're about to, to change battery. Uh, but that's the only negative other than that, I think it's just a super fantastic RCR plane for, for, for a beginner and for an experienced pilot for everyone. This one should really be one of the first horse airplanes you purchase.